Well, everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at the Samsung Galaxy S23 FE and compare it against the iPhone 15 and see which particular iPhone is a better one for you, or particular phone is a better one for you. Now, if you want to pick up some phones I would recommend buying this year, links will be down in the description. You can get them from there and you can help support the channel at the same time. Now, starting off side by side, the iPhone 15, which came out basically in like September of this year, has a 6.1 inch Super Retina XR OLED display on the front, and it's a pretty good looking panel. I'm a fan of it, I think it looks good. You have the dynamic island at the top, 60 hertz display. There's not really a lot to complain about here, and I do think it's overall a better looking panel than the S23 FE, but I don't know, like I still think this is a pretty good looking phone. Not a lot to complain about, and I still think very high resolution, very good display. If you're buying an iPhone, you basically know what you're getting. The Galaxy S23 FE is a little bit of a different story. I don't really know how I feel about this particular display. So it's a bigger 6.4 inch dynamic AMOLED display, 120 hertz, very good looking display for the most part. You know, I like it a lot. There's not a lot to complain about. It's 1080p, 120 hertz, hole punch display, and it gets fairly bright. I think it's just everything kind of around the display. I'm not really a fan. Like, I feel like it has a lot of bezel around it for this type of phone. And honestly, I feel like the feeling of this phone doesn't feel as good as even like the S21 FE, which is very, very surprising to me. So I don't know what Samsung really did here. It feels like a bigger, way bigger phone, like kind of abnormally bigger for what it is, but it's a good phone. But I think the iPhone 15 kind of has a better display, even though it doesn't have 120 hertz. The rest of the body, though, is a little tiny bit interesting as well. So you're getting the flat side completely on the iPhone 15 with kind of a curved edge to it. The Galaxy S23 FE, we're getting this like curved edge to it, kind of. It's like flat, then curved a little bit. I don't know how to explain it. You have the you know SIM card tray up top of the S23 FE. iPhone 15 doesn't have it. USB Type-C ports on the bottom of both these, but I'll probably say the S23 FE has a more functional USB-C port as far as I can tell. Now, apparently the S23 FE has a glass back, but it feels like a plastic back. Like, I'm not too sure. It might be glass, but you know, it is what it is. It's not frosted like on the S23 FE or the S23. The iPhone 15 has that frosted glass back, which feels very, very good. I definitely do prefer the back of the iPhone 15 more so than the back of the S23 FE. You're getting wireless charging on both, MagSafe capability on the iPhone 15, but you are getting reverse wireless charging on the back of the S23 FE, which is a very, very nice touch. And once again, that in and of itself is a really cool feature that we're getting on a device like the S23 FE over the iPhone 15. So what I'll probably tell you is on the exterior, you're kind of getting like a more featureful kind of flagship experience on the S23 FE. You're getting things like reverse wireless charging, you're getting the 120 hertz hole punch display as well. I think the iPhone 15 is kind of the more premium one in some cases, but I'd probably still say that a phone like the iPhone 15 is the more premium feeling one, but the S23 FE has more features if that kind of makes sense. So. That kind of covers it up there. Now, in terms of software longevity, this is also kind of another feature for the iPhone 15. As far as I can tell, the iPhone 15 is going to be giving you a longer lasting phone on this particular device than on something like the S23 FE. Now, that's not to say that the S23 FE is like outdated or whatever the case is. The S23 FE is still gonna be here for quite a bit of time, but I do look at a phone like the iPhone 15 as being the more featureful one. And I definitely would tell you that if you're going to pick up a device I think the iPhone 15 is probably the one that would make more sense just because it's going to last a longer amount of time than the Galaxy S23 FE. So kind of keep that in mind. Now let's go and do a speed comparison between both these phones. The iPhone 15 has that Apple A16 body chip inside of it with six gigabytes of RAM. Well, the S23 FE has that Snapdragon HN2, HN1 chipset inside of it with eight gigabytes of RAM inside of this one. So let's go and see which one's the faster phone between both. Okay, there we go. All the apps are cleared out in the background, so let's get into it. Phone calls, three, two, one. Okay, perfect. Let's go and get into cameras. Three, two, one. Okay, let's take a photo. Three, two, one. Perfect. Hopping out of both of these, let's get into some of these other applications. So we have things like, let's go and try <laughs> Spotify. Three, two, one. Okay, S23 FE was faster. The iPhone 15 a little bit slower. Hopping out of this one, let's go and try Snake vs. Blocks. Three, two, one. It was almost 50-50, like almost exactly the same. There may have been some differences as far as I can tell, but like it was almost identically the same. Hopping out of these two. Let's go and get into, uh, let's do thank you, three, two, one. So the iPhone 15 was slightly faster. The S23 FE was a little bit slower there. Hopping out of this one. Let's go and get into Netflix, three, two, one. iPhone 15 a little bit faster there. So I'm getting to Facebook, which I do have here, three, two, one. Okay, 
two different panels, not really too sure what to make of that one. Stack, three, two, one. I think the iPhone 15 was faster. Then the Galaxy S23 FE a little bit slower, but they were kind of on, like, on two different panels for the most part. Looks like the 15 kind of glitched up a little bit there. Actually, the S23 FE glitched up a little bit there too. Hopping out of these two. So I'm going to Snapchat. Three, I'm logged in here, so we'll just skip that one. Roblox 321. I think the iPhone 15 was slightly faster there for the most part. So we're going to do some around 2, 3, 2, 1. It's a pretty big game. Nothing super crazy, though, but it's a good game to test as far as I can tell. It's funny, I'm leaning these on like the Pixel 8 Pro. Okay, of course, this thing pops up. So that is definitely going to skew this comparison a little bit. I will probably say when it comes down to this one, though, maybe the iPhone 15 would have been a little bit faster anyway, but I don't think it would have been that big of a difference, clearly, because this one, you know, did have that little pop-up. I don't know why there's so many pop-ups in these random games. It does kind of affect these, you know, things a lot. Geometry Dash, 3, 2, 1, I can't even speak today. Okay, actually about the same thing, not really that big of a difference. Getting into this game, let's see if there's any big difference as far as I can tell. Looks like the iPhone 15 kind of glitched up in the beginning with. But for the rest of them, I'm surprised I'm even able to do that. Hopping out of these two, let's go and get to another one. Let's go and end it off with something like, you know, we've already done a lot. I think for the most part, the Galaxy S23 FE, I don't think it's as fast as the iPhone 15, which I already kind of was expecting that. But I think the iPhone 15 held its own. I think the S23 FE is also a very good phone. But I don't know. Like, I, I don't think I would go for, I don't think the performance is like amazingly better on one over the other. So that's kind of how I'd kind of sum that up. In terms of the cameras, dual camera setup on the iPhone 15 triple camera setup on the S23 FE. So you're getting a wide ultra wide telephoto lens on the S23 FE, iPhone 15 wide and ultra wide camera. Now, I like the iPhone 15 camera. I think it's very, very good for what you're getting. And that's a very nice feature. Having 0.5x zoom is very nice. Having that standard, you know, 10x zoom is also very, very good. It's a very good feature for a camera for the most part, you know, time-lapse, slow-mo, photo, portrait mode. There's a lot of reasons why this camera is still very good. And I, for one, I'm still a humongous fan of this sp specific lens for sure. The Galaxy S23 FE, I think this is a very, very good camera as well. It does, you know, it's definitely not as good as the S23, you know, standard S23's camera, but it's not supposed to be better than that. You know, it's supposed to be a watered-down version of it. So for one, you're getting 0.6x zoom. Zooming in, you're getting like 30x zoom on paper, but it's not really 30x zoom, but it's still pretty close. But it's still a really nice amount of zoom to have. I mean, that's a crazy amount of zoom to have. I think it's probably more than the... 15 Pro Max, which is pretty crazy. Now, for the rest of this phone, portrait mode, you're getting video mode, more mode. You're getting lots of resolutions you can film in as well. And there's, I would probably say the S23 FE's camera is better than the iPhone 15's, but I think the rest of the phone is probably better on the iPhone 15. Now, what do I mean by that? I think that with the S23 FE, the only things you're really getting better is like a bigger display, uh, better battery life potentially, and better camera, maybe. But then with the iPhone 15, this is probably the better phone that I'll kind of look at. Like, this is the device that has so much capability, it has so much going for it, and I would probably say this is the better one when it comes down to it more times than not. I think the S23 FE is a very decent phone, but I don't even think this is a good phone for the price tag. You might as well just go and buy a used S23 at that. But I think the iPhone 15 is a pretty solid phone. I'd probably recommend buying this one for the most part over something like the S23 FE, in my opinion. So, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.